A long, long time ago, in Sherwood Forest, there lived two outlaws whose names were Robin Hood and Little John. They were the smartest, fastest, and best archers in the world. The prince of the land wanted them arrested and sent all of his men after them. But Robin Hood and Little John outsmarted Prince Jonathan's men and easily escaped. With their many disguises and amazing skills, Robin Hood and Little John stole the prince's jewels, his gold, and one time, they even stole the prince's royal robe. To the people of Nottingham, Robin Hood and Little John were heroes. Whenever the sheriff came around to collect high taxes, Robin Hood somehow filled back up the villagers' pockets with coins. Once the sheriff even took a rabbit's family's last penny. Robin Hood heard about it and visited the mother rabbit with a bag of gold coins as a gift so she could look after her whole family. Mother Rabbit thanked him as Robin Hood sped off to his hideout. Meanwhile, the beautiful Maid Marian was out for a walk with her friend. When she noticed Robin Hood's wanted poster, she confided in her friend how much she loved Robin Hood. Her friend assured her they would be together someday. Meanwhile, Robin Hood had caught a glimpse of Maid Marian on her walk. Robin Hood told his friend Little John how much he loved Maid Marian. She is so lovely, said Robin Hood. Well, why don't you ask her to marry you, said Little John. What would she see in me? I am a wanted outlaw, said Robin Hood. Just then, their friend Friar Tuck joined them. Someday you will be called a great hero, said Friar Tuck, not an outlaw. Friar Tuck then told Robin about an archery tournament being held nearby. Maid Marian has promised a kiss to the winner, Friar Tuck remarked. Robin Hood wore his best disguise yet and won the tournament. But it was a trap set by Prince Jonathan. As Maid Marian kissed Robin Hood, Prince Jonathan arrested him and sentenced him to death. Please, no, Maid Marian pleaded with Prince Jonathan. She confessed her love and she begged for Robin Hood's life to be spared. Marian, my darling, I love you too, Robin Hood declared. Little John fought off the prince's men and saved Robin Hood. The sheriff of Nottingham fought them too, but they all managed to escape to Sherwood Forest. As they fled, Robin Hood asked Maid Marian to marry him. I thought you would never ask she happily replied. They spent a special night in the forest filled with fireflies. Robin Hood offered her a ring made from flowers to wow. pledge his love. Back at the palace, the prince was very angry that they could not find Robin Hood. Prince Jonathan tripled the taxes and ordered the sheriff to throw anyone who could not pay in jail. Soon the jails were full. Robin Hood and Little John came up with a plan to let all the village prisoners out of jail. The plan worked. While the prisoners were all escaping, Robin Hood snuck to the castle and took every last bag of Prince Jonathan's gold and coins. Soon after, the real King Richard returned to Nottingham. Ow, 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 ow. The king was very upset at what he heard that Prince Jonathan and his men had done to the villagers. The king ordered Prince Jonathan and all of his men to prison. 
The very next day, the joyful wedding of Robin Hood and Maid Marian took place. As all of the friends gathered to celebrate their love, everyone knew Nottingham had returned to a happy and peaceful loving town again. <laughs>